What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today is episode two of our series, Mayor Theory. Today we're checking out Shot in the Dark off his new album, Sob Rock. So let's go. Well, all right, guys. Today is Mayor Theory number two. And the song we're checking out today is Shot in the Dark. <laughs> What a song, and for me personally, my favorite song off of Sob Rock. I was lucky enough to see him about two weeks ago at the Palladium, and it was really cool to see how this song transferred to a live scenario, especially at the very end with a guitar solo that was not originally on the record. So for today's video, Mayor Theory, Shot in the Dark, we'll check out the main progression, right, the main riff, go over the triads and how to play that same riff all over the neck. Then we'll look at the pre-chorus slash the chorus, AKA these big sort of add nine voicings, the bridge section, the progression, the chord melody that John does acoustically live these past couple of shows, as well as the lead lines that accent this whole three part guitar section and then finally the solo section the solo progression as well as some cool soloing ideas that you can implement when jamming to the song so with all that being said let's dive into the main progression cool so first up let's check out the main progression slash riff for shot in the dark a super cool riff when you add the chorus it sounds much better i think <laughs> so chord wise it's nothing crazy very diatonic to the key of d major we have our one chord d to our two minor seven chord e minor seven back to our one major e minor seven b minor which we can call our six minor chord a major, our five major, G major, our four major, right? So now that we have the main riff under our hands, right? Just like John plays it. How can we expand it across the fretboard? Well, like I always preach on this channel, this is why you have to have your major and minor triads under your belt. So let's take this exact same chord progression, the exact same chordal movement, and transfer it now to the top three strings. <laughs> Right? We have our D major chord. We're doing a G triad, B, D, G, because that's essentially as well like an E minor seven, but without the E root. D, G, B minor, B, D, F sharp, 
root flat three five. A major, root three five. To our G major, root three five. Right? Let's say now you want to use that same riff on strings two, three, four. Right? This is why you have to know your triads. So now let's move on to the second section of the song, the pre-chorus slash the chorus with these spread chords, these add nine chords. Cool. So now we're in the pre-chorus slash chorus section. Right after the first half of the verse, the main progression, John comes into this pre-chorus area playing these pretty big chord voicings. Check this out. <laughs> At first, like all of us, I'm assuming, including myself, these voicings are pretty intimidating. But when you dive into them, they're really not that complex. They just sound more sophisticated than what we're used to. So let's take a look at this G add nine voicing, which is what they really are. We have our root G, octave G, and this A, on the G string second fret and that makes the add nine. And it's really cool because this G and A are clashing, right? Because they're one whole step apart from each other. He then does his exact same voicing slash layout for A. He has A, octave A, and his B, fourth fret of the G string and that makes it the add nine. To then a B minor, which again he's playing root, root, minor third, this D on the seventh fret of the G string. Finally, when you see that part in TikTok, right, when he posted this playing part, he does this. Which is here, he's pulling off the C sharp, B, landing on A, hitting this G, and then with his fingers hitting this D string, a and B, essentially a G at nine as well. Also, that same fingering you hear, like this, C sharp, B, A. So let's add some chorus and you'll see how that sounds. Kind of like that TikTok video. <laughs>
then it repeats that whole section one more time. The verse. Right, then it goes to the pre-chorus slash chorus. bridge which is my favorite part of the song the so let's adjust some settings and take a closer look at the bridge so up next we have our bridge section which for me personally is my favorite part of the Sob Rock album. Not only does it have incredible lyrics, but it has three guitar parts that I'm hearing that are working incredibly together in unison. So check this out. We have our chords being D. G. B minor. So there we have our chord progression. One, four, six, five, one. That's one guitar part, right? The second guitar part, we've only recently heard very clearly when John played this song at Matt Square Garden acoustically. He's doing something like this. <laughs> There's our second guitar part. Third guitar part, let's add a bit of OD, does something like this. resolves to a G major. So now let's put all three of those together and see how it really sounds. So first up, let's record the chord with the melody on top. <laughs> Are D, G, B minor, A. Chorus is engaged. Let's add the chords now. Thank you. 
transitions to a G major chord. How about that? Ha. So this G after the bridge is almost like a big everything worked out. And then John does which takes us to verse 3 as well as the outro where he does again these add 9 chords. Right? And then guitar player 2 would play those same chords. that'll give John the platform to solo. So now let's go to part four, the solo section. So for the solo section, the chords that you would loop would be G, A, D. Right? Which lends perfectly for a D major slash major pentatonic scale or like a B minor pentatonic scale as well. This is really not a song that you would do all your very typical like SRV stuff for. You'd want to be more melodic. You can do like a very blues thing if you want. And it'll sound really cool to spice it up, but really melodic is where you would want to stay. So with all that being said, let's put on a loop and jam a little solo. guys that is today's video mayor theory shot in the dark if you enjoyed today's video please press like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one